Hi, if you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in jailbreaking your iPod Touch or iPhone. Before I tell you how to do that, I'd like to share some pros and cons with you about jailbreaking, as well as clarify some misconceptions. So, we'll start with the pros. By jailbreaking your iPod, you open it up to a wide variety of applications and programs that cannot be found on the conventional Apple App Store. You can get things like a five-column springboard, a tap to unlock lock screen, or folders to categorize your apps. And all of these things are free. There are also a wide variety of functional applications, such as a Game Boy Advance emulator or a YouTube downloader. These things can truly help you customize your iPod. And I'm sure you've seen all those crazy themes. Most of them are free and easy to install. So I've told you about some of the pros. Now we're going to move on to the cons. When you jailbreak your iPod, extra program is downloaded onto it. This programming can sometimes slow down the processing speed of your iPod. You also void your warranty when you jailbreak your iPod. This means that if something happens to your iPod, then Apple will not replace it. However, this is not a huge problem because you can simply restore your iPod using iTunes and Apple won't know the difference. They won't know if you jailbroke it or not. So I figure that the warranty problem is not really a problem at all. Now I'm going to clarify a couple misconceptions about jailbreaking. First off, if you jailbreak your iPod, you will not be arrested and Apple will not come after you. Yes, this may sound crazy, but I've heard it before. Nothing will happen to you. Apple will not hunt you down. Generally, jailbreaking your iPod does not result in any untimely crashes or freezing of your iPod. Also, you can jailbreak an iPod Touch 3rd generation without having to reinstall all the software every time you turn it off. However, you will have something called a tethered jailbreak. This means that every time your iPod turns off, instead of having to connect it to iTunes, you hook it up to your computer and run the jailbreak program again. This is not anything hard to do, it simply takes a minute of your time and is just as easy as connecting it to iTunes. None of your data will be lost, I've done it before, I know. So now that you've heard some of the pros and cons of jailbreaking, let's move on to how to jailbreak your iPod. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod. It's really simple using Black Rain and should only take you a couple minutes. So the first thing you want to do is just plug your iPod in. So it plugs in and um, iTunes may come up if that's how you've got it set up and that's how I do. So um, I'm just going to wait for iTunes to come up because you don't want iTunes running, syncing your iPod, doing any of that stuff when you jailbreak. So here's iTunes, and it's trying to sync it. I'm just going to stop it and X out. So now you're going to go to this link in the description. Um, I'll have that in the description. And you're going to download Black Rain. Um, okay, so here's Black Rain. Just say save file. And we're going to open the containing folder. So there's Black Rain and double click run and it's gonna ask you to make it rain so click on that and your iPod is gonna op uh, go into recovery mode. So it wants to connect to iTunes but um, you'll see before anything happens this picture of the guy will come up and it'll say here that you've jailbroken your iPod and you shouldn't pay for it and whatnot and that's it so um, just wait for it to reboot as it says here and that should take I don't know 30 seconds or so so as you can see this is really simple it's easy to do and there's really you know nothing about this that's gonna screw up your iPod so I'm just waiting for this thing to, to finish rebooting and uh, show you what you got here. And this is on iPod Touch firmware 3.1.2 on a first generation iPod Touch. And this works on the iPod Touch second generation and third generation. However, on the third generation, as it was mentioned earlier in the video, it is a tethered jailbreak but that really isn't a big deal so this is gonna reboot in just a second here 
and you'll see the new Black Rain app that's on here, which can be deleted using SSH. All right, so here it comes. All right, slide down lock. At this point, iTunes may want to sync your iPod. Just let it. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's no big deal. Okay, so iPod sync is complete, and here you can see that we have a Black Rain app. So go in there, and you're going to have, I believe, three choices to download. So there's Cydia, Rock, and Icy. Now, to download any of this stuff, you know, you have to have Wi-Fi set up, and I don't at this point because I just restored this iPod. So I would suggest getting Cydia. Don't bother with Rock or Icy. They both suck. Cydia has a huge selection of apps and programs. Um, you're much better off going with that, even though it is a little bit slower. So that's it. Your iPod is jailbroken, and you can go and download stuff from Cydia and do all the SSHing stuff and themes and all that. So if this video helps you out, then subscribe and leave a comment if you got any questions. See you guys later.